Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is show you how we can make predictions from a regression line and also talk about the reliability of the predictions that we make. And to do this I've got an example here where we've got a manufacturer stores drums of chemicals and during the storage evaporation takes place. A random sample of 10 drums was taken and the time in storage, x weeks, and the evaporation loss, y milliliters, are shown in the table below. And using your model, predict the amount of evaporation that would take place after 19 weeks and 35 weeks and comment with a reason on the reliability of each of your predictions. Now, if we were to draw a scatter diagram for this data, it would look something like this, going between x equals 3 and x equals 18. And if we were to calculate and draw the regression line on this scatter diagram, it would look like this. This equation would be y equals 29.0 plus 3.9x. Now, when we need to make predictions then about what that amount of evaporation would be after, say, 19 weeks, what we've got to do is substitute x equals 19 into our formula here. So, if we do that, all we've got to just say then is when x equals 19, then by substituting it into here, we end up with y equaling 103.1. Now we're asked to comment with a reason on the reliability of each of our predictions. And as you can see, the scatter diagram is only drawn for values of x between 3 and 18. What we can't be sure of is the behavior of the model when we go outside of this range. I mean, for instance, what happens when x is more than 18? Does the graph go like this, up in that direction, or does it go like this? And what happens when you take values of x below 3? I would have thought that if the drum had been stored for zero days, then the evaporation would be zero. So I would have kind of thought that this graph would start to tail off towards the origin. So you can see it's not linear through this stretch here necessarily. We just don't know. We just, we just do not know how the model is going to behave outside of this range. Now when x equals 19, however, this point is fairly close to 18. So I would have thought then that 19 is close to the highest value of x and so is likely to be reasonably reliable. But when we take x equals 35, let's just see what that works out to be. So for part two, when x equals 35, if you substitute 35 into here and work out what y is, it turns out to be 165.5. Now this value would be on this line. But because it's outside of this range, way outside of this highest value of 18, then I can't be sure that this is going to be a reliable prediction because the curve, as I say, might go up like this, it might tail off. So in answer to that, I would say that 35 is way outside the range of values of x and is therefore unreliable as there is no evidence that this model still holds. So when doing these predictions then, make sure that when you make a prediction, it's only going to be reliable if your value of x that you take is within the range here between your lowest value and your highest value. If it's outside that range, 
then generally it's going to be unreliable. Okay, 